Hi, welcome back to the shop. So this video is going to be on uh, some heavy equipment stuff. So about a week and a half, well, almost two weeks ago, uh, I lost a wheel planetary on one of my Cat 735 rock trucks. Uh, basically, it's kind of a wheel, like a gear reduction planetary setup that goes in a the wheel. There's a center gear here that you know comes off out of the axle that spins these three gears. They ride in a ring gear, and it causes it to uh, to make the wheel turn. Um, you can see. Now the gears moving in and out. The bearings are shot. Uh, the gears are shot. The pins shot. Apparently, the operator didn't notice the clunking sound. Uh, he didn't even notice the color change. I, I was out there for something else, and I walked up to the machine and looked at it. And you could see it leaking a little bit of oil. And it, this cat paint turns a different color yellow. Um, it starts to get like a like a kind of a brownish color, and then it'll turn a red color uh, when it gets hot. So it's kind of an indicator that something's going wrong. Uh, the operator, I guess, didn't notice it. He said he did notice it was a little hotter than the other one when he touched them both the other day, or the day before, but whatever. Um, so anyways, I ruined the outer ring gear, and hopefully it didn't ruin the housing. So today I've got to pull the pins out, and then uh, replace the, the gears and the pins, and uh, get it cleaned up and get it ready to put back in uh, to, well, on Monday. So actually it took me about two weeks because I ended up coming out with the with the Wuhan virus, so I was kind of laid out on the couch watching TV for the last two weeks. Um, but I finally managed to get some energy to order some parts. So I got some used planetary gears, got three of them. This is the sun gear that goes on the axle that'll actually ride, you know, turn all three of those gears. Got new copper uh, and steel thrust washers, got new bearings, got some new pins. Actually, the pins and the gears are used. Um, I bought those from uh, a cat dealer up in Oregon. And then I got a new ring gear for it, which is kind of ticks me off because this company, this was a different company. They were out of Kentucky. No, they're out of Kansas City, Missouri. And uh, they charged me over $100 to ship this gear. You gotta see this. There it is, way down at the bottom. So they put this huge box and then they put all they put it down on the bottom and then they put a bunch of paper stuffed up on top of it. I guess there's a little bit underneath. But what a waste. They could have put this in a 14 by 14 box and shipped this thing for about 25 bucks. And here they charge me over hundred dollars to ship it in this huge ass box. Anyways, some of the fun of buying used parts, I guess. But anyways, let me get set up. We'll take the other planetary part, and if the housing's good. And we'll get these parts over there and we'll put it all back together. Uh, they come out, that's great. If not, then I'm gonna have to get a torch and slice the gears, get the gears out of there, and then cut the damaged part of the pin out so I can get the pin out of the boss, out of the bores there without uh, ruining the uh, housing. Hey, we'll use the press to get the pins out. Normally, hey, see how the gear ate into the pin. Um, they're moving, so I'm not worried about ruining the, the bore on here. Um, it's when it really froze up. Uh, it's when you got to cut the cut the gear and cut the pin and get it out both you know both directions. All right, so I started beating on that with a hammer, 
and I just kind of got winded and ran out of strength for that. Um, just recovering from the Wuhan, it's just kinda got me kind of, you know, hard to catch my breath. And um, so I got to get back into shape because I sat, sat on the couch too long. So I've got it here in the press. Uh, I'm going to finish pressing this pin out. This, I just put this smaller pin in there to we'll press it out with, and then I'll spin it around and, you know, spin it around there and get the other two pins out too. So here goes. So here's the pin. So it's amazing the operator couldn't feel this or hear this. He couldn't even hear the gear slipping as he was uh, throttling up. Just ridiculous, uh, these operators that we get nowadays. Just a joke. I actually call him a driver, not even an operator. So we'll get the other three out and see how it looks. All right, so actually after getting that, gear, that pin out, slide the gear out. And it's amazing the bore, these gears are so hard but the bore is barely messed up. You would think that the bore would be just totally destroyed. Um, if the guy had caught it early, uh, he went to chipped up the gear and probably could have used these gears over. But, uh, well, here's $400 in the trash right there. And then we look in here and we can see, it scraped up the bore here a little bit, pressing the pin out, but it's not that bad. I can clean it up with a, uh, with a unitized wheel. And then uh, you can see how hot it got. This is one of the, uh, brass washers that go in there. There's a brass washer and a steel washer, and this is one of the brass ones. And uh, it's turned it black from the heat and just totally destroyed this. And you can see it did a lot of damage here to the housing. Um, I'm gonna have to look and see. I have another housing. I'm gonna have to look and see if my other housing's good. If it is, I'll use that one. And this one I'm gonna have to repair. I'm either gonna have to grind this flat and just fit a third washer in there to make it up, um, or else take it down to the machine shop and have them machine it and uh, see if we can salvage this. In fact, this thing is already, so there were five washers in there. So this one's already been rebuilt once where an extra washer was added to make up for it being wore out once before. So um, definitely I'm gonna go look for another housing. All right, so I had this other planetary housing in the uh, storage container, and um, it's it's a little beat up. The holes are a little scraped up. Uh, these uh, surfaces here aren't the best. I can clean them up. I'm gonna have to get a grinder on there and kind of clean some of this up. You can see it had a lot of debris go through it when it was in the last machine it was in. But I'm gonna clean all that up, and it looks like it's gonna be good enough to use. I just, last time I probably had one that was in better shape than this one, so. Looks like I'm going to have to keep my eyes out for some more used ones. Anyways, I'm going to get this steam clean and uh, then do a little cleanup on it with the grinder and put it together. Now look at the shards of steel that came out when I was beating the pin out. Jeez. It's all wiped down. Get the housing up here. So after I steam cleaned it, um, it came out looking pretty good actually. To get all the, uh, the old gear oil off of it. it doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and just assemble it uh, how it is. I don't think I really need to grind anything on it. I don't see any loose pieces or anything that are gonna come off. So I'm gonna get the parts and uh, we'll get everything all ready. I definitely have to use a different uh, fill plug. That one's broken because the magnet's all cracked up. Pull that out and uh, put another one in it. Yeah, these pins aren't the greatest, but there's no wear on them. There's just some weird markings probably from their Looks like they used one of those hot water uh, parts parts cleaner machines. Got a little bit of wear there, but it's actually on a part that doesn't affect it. This is the part that the bearing rides on right here. The rest just sits in the housing. And the sun gear. Uh, we've got the three new planet gears. And um, you can only use cat parts on these. Um, never use aftermarket. 
I guess you can on the loaders and st stuff like that. I think it's the same parts as the 966 loader. Uh, but on these rock trucks, they just can't handle it. They can barely handle the cat parts. So uh, I, I'll buy a used cat, but um, never buy aftermarket. They just don't last. And then you end up costing more money than you tried to save because then you destroy everything in there. Here's what the metal or the steel washers look like that go in there. Each side of each gear gets a, uh, was it I guess it's copper, copper and a steel. And then, uh, you know, top, top of and below each gear. So it goes like that. So basically you have the copper material rides against the housing because the housing is the most expensive part. Um, so you don't want to wear that at all. So use a softer material. And then the gear is so hard, it doesn't matter. The, and it's a cheaper, just kind of a, sad to say it's a throwaway part. Um, so the metal um, washer goes up against that. So you have one on each, one of each on each side. Okay, and then it's for the bearings. They take a small needle bearing. Uh, the 735s, these bearings, honestly, are, they're too small. Um, you almost have to go through and change them every 5,000 or 5,000 hours on these things because this is the Achilles heel on these rock trucks. It's just too small of a bearing. When you go to the 40 ton truck, the bearing's three times the size. And the, the gears are a lot bigger too, they're a lot wider. And they seem to last a long time compared to these. And then one other thing about these bearings, these will pop out real easy. So sometimes you'll, you'll grab one and you'll find one of the rollers just kind of part way in, part way out. You really have to like feel each one and make sure that those are in correctly. Otherwise, when you go to assemble this, you're gonna, the pin's not gonna slide in. And if you try to beat it in, you're gonna just damage it. Um, or yeah, in fact, there's one right there. That one came out of the box like that. So you gotta make sure those are all in right. And I've got this new stuff I've been using. It's made by STP. Um, it says penetrant, lubricant, anti-rust. This stuff works really good. You spray it on. Um, I just use it as an assembly lube on this. And it uh, sticks on really nice. It doesn't just run off. It keeps kind of a thick coating on it. So, get a gear. And you put the brass or the copper down, the steel up, lay it in here over the pinhole, get the gear, slide it in, and then you get a punch or a screwdriver or something, stick it in there and just kind of try to line everything up in the hole so that the pin will go in. Get the copper on top, the steel on the bottom, and take one of your pins. It's lubed up really good. Take this notch right here. It's going to go to the outer, to the outer side. Make sure the camera's lined up. Yeah. Make sure the notch is to the outer side because this actually gets held by the, by the cover over the planetary, so the pins can't rotate. And so it's got to be to the outside. Drop it in just like that. Right, so we got that. And then we get two washers. The steel one on top. Make sure you have to lay in there. So they're going to lay in there over that pinhole. And then you're going to slide this gear in place. It's going to be kind of hard to do with one hand. And then you just stick, just use this punch, just kind of use it to jockey everything in place. Kind of works better with a screwdriver, but there. That we have everything kind of lined up. I uh, get two more washers, copper on top against the housing. Kind of line them up as best I can with my fingers. I'm gonna get a pen. Notch on the top lined up the outer surface. Yeah, I got it all screwed up. Kind of really hard to do with one hand. Check, slam it down, and we're good. You see the gears rolling in there nice. 
receiver. All these washers in place. Line it up as best as we can. So that sits up like that, or with that sitting up like that. Um, this is going to be in the middle. It's going to be on the axle itself, so the axle shaft to go in. And then this outer ring will be stationary to the axle housing, the main axle assembly, the tube. And it sits there, and as, as the shaft turns this gear, it's going to turn these gears, and it's going to make this whole housing rotate. And it's a very, very strong connection between the axle shaft and the wheel. If you just had just the axle shaft go directly to the wheel and turn in the wheel, it would be 10 times weaker, probably less, probably weaker than that. You'd be breaking axle shafts all the time. But with this, it makes like a gear reduction in it and it gives that axle shaft just tons more strength. All right, so that's it. These things aren't very complicated at all. It's just making sure everything's right in it. Everything's gonna last. Um, this one's a little beat up. It's probably at 85% of what I wish it was, but it's gonna work for me. Um, like I said, I need to keep my eyes out for some used ones. Um, every once in a while I can find a good used, a whole assembly out there. Uh, but most of the time you can only get the parts because most used parts people they're a little bit greedy and you know they, they know they could sell each gear separately cheaper separately than they can if they sell everything together in a unit so um anyways that's it it's a wheel planetary assembly from a uh, cat 735 rock truck a 35 ton truck and monday i'll go out and install this and hopefully get the that'll be it i'll get the machine back up running so anyways um anyways thanks for watching and um have a good day